Today, we're going to talk about your idea, how to produce your product. And we're going to talk about that right now. So who are we? We are Braden Brand Reality TV. We are beauty, fashion, wellness, and good old fashioned family. In other words, we are beauty personified. Most people have an idea, it's called the power of an idea. But here's the thing, they never do anything with it. Millions of people are just walking around with ideas, great ideas. There are a certain percentage of the people that will stop and make it happen. So today, I'm gonna to give you how I made my ideas happen. The first thing you want to do is you want to start sketching. Whatever it is, whether it's on a paper napkin, whether you're out to eat, whether you're at a park or whatever piece of paper, get your shoebox and start writing all your little scratch papers down and drop it in the shoebox because you're gonna come back to it. Now, that's the best thing to do, sketch your idea of what you want it to look like. Or you can hire a designer, and the designer will charge you for your idea. The only problem is, when the designer come into play, if the designer don't give you the copyright to that design, they still own the rights to the image, because they designed it. So, sketch your image. This is what I did with my Lunchbox Kids with Braden Kids TV. I sketched each and every last one of them. And then I brought it to life. So, that's the first thing. Figure out what your idea is, sketch it down, write it down. If you want to, get a designer. Make sure everything is legal before you pay for it. And then, the next one is, if your idea is five to six months later, Still the same idea, still the same passion, still thinking about it, still figuring out where to go. The first thing you need to do is get a DBA and you're at your county clerk office. A DBA lasts for 10 years. I know in the state of Texas you have to see how long it lasts in your state. But the state of Texas lasts 10 years and that's your name. Now here's what you do. Open up a bank account in that DBA. Open up a, a, a website address with that DBA. Get your professional phone number and get your professional email in that DBA's name. Now you have just legalized your business. Now, this is just an overview of what I'm talking about, how to produce your product. The images that you produce, you need to uh, register it with the Library of Congress because that's going to give you a registration number in case somebody come along somewhere down the road and say that's mine if they can't show you a serial number then it's not theirs it's yours now that's different if you have a partnership that's totally different i'm talking about you and you alone now if you have a name you want to trademark that name now you want to trademark that name. A trademark might take six months to a year to receive the seal. But if you have a patent and you have a prototype of an idea of something you want to introduce into the market, you can get a provisional patent that gives you $65 for a year, but it gives you the room and the windows to get everything together legally, designers, marketing, and all of that. To see if that's something you really, really want to do. So, trademark, copyright, uh, Library of Congress. That's the next step. If you still have the passion for it, do it the right way first. Can't nobody come, nobody can come and tell you anything different after that. Because all you're going to do is say, here's the paper right here. The next thing you want to do is you want to research your competition and the market. In between of that six months of deciding if you want to trade market or copyright it, um, research your comp competitors, research the market, what's it going to take to market, how, what does it cost, where is it sold at, how are people buying it, 
that's the research you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to work with. But the main thing is your competitor, because the competitor is gonna tell you what colors you're gonna use, how much it's gonna cost, how much it's gonna, how much you're gonna sell a month. I mean, it's a lot involved in that. I had a barbecue sauce. I have a barbecue sauce, Burns barbecue sauce. Here it is, right here. And uh, I was in the grocery store chain, and barbecue sauce. The area I had on the shelf was way smaller than the hunts and the crafts and all that because they tried to squeeze you out. That's not the reason why I stopped selling. It was personal reasons, but um, my product was selling in the store and uh, it was selling very well. As a matter of fact, I had to go back every week to fill the shelves up. That was a good thing. I knew what my cost market was. I knew which way I had to go in setting up the cost as opposed to the big majors. I knew all of that. But I knew it going in. So I knew what I had to do. The next thing you've got to do is marketing. How are you going to market your product? What are you gonna do to massive market and get your product out into the market? And I would suggest you do this before you even go into launching your product. Just start talking about it. Put buzzwords out. Buzzwords in social media. Buzzwords to your friends. Buzzwords, but don't give them everything unless you have the serial numbers to the patents, uh, to the trademarks and the copyrights. Otherwise, you're gonna give a buzzword to somebody who knows what to do, and they're gonna get it done. Know where you're gonna market. Know how you're gonna market. Lay out what you're gonna do. Now, you're gonna have to have a web page within your marketing process. You're gonna have to have a uh, phone number. You're gonna have to have an email. You're going to have to have all those elements because they're intertwined into selling your product from launch to sale. You want to convert these people over and the question is how are you going to do it? Plain and simple. You don't want to start a business with a product and you have no idea where you're going to go and how you're going to get there. Then you just work. That's it. I don't do work just to work. I do work so that I can make money. Down the line, at a certain time, I'm making money. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. No, it takes a lot in taking a product and saying, hey, I have this here, uh, I have this mug, I have this t-shirt, I have this here flying object that, uh, and then you give it to some to your friends and your friends buy it one time, what's the retention level? They're not gonna come back and buy it again because you need to sell it. What's your plan? So here's the next one. You've got to have a business plan. Business plan before you go to any investors and say, I want you to invest, because they're gonna say, where's the business plan? They wanna see what's in your head. They don't wanna see the product. They wanna see what's in your head. So your business plan is gonna lay out who you are, where you come from, what's your product, where you gonna sell it, where you gonna market, how you gonna uh, uh, um, advertise it, where are the elements where you gonna sell, how you gonna convert over. And the main question they're gonna ask is, are you already selling? So be ready to answer those questions because they're coming. If you get past the six month plan, it's coming. If within your business plan, you've got to have a timeline. And you've got to follow that timeline by the law. That means from A to B, A to Z, when you wake up in the morning, you know exactly where you're going, you know exactly how you're gonna get there. And who you're gonna talk to. And if you don't have that, you're gonna stop and eat you some lunch, and you're gonna go to the park, and you may go to the movie, with a friend of yours because they want to go to the movie. 
they wanna go hang out, come by my house, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the bar, get a little drink, blah, blah, blah. If you don't ever play, guess what, you're gonna do it. A friend of mine told me long time ago, I always live by it. If you don't ever play in, somebody will always find a way to put you into the... This is my play. Every day. Every day. Let me show you my plan, what I have every day when I go out. So, this is how to produce your product. I hope that I answer some of your questions. I hope that you can put some of your questions, some of these elements I gave to you into play to give you a guideline. I'm doing this for you, I'm doing it for me. Because the more I talk, the more I think about what I haven't done for a particular product. My next video is going to be how to create that particular product in detail. Come on back and watch it.